recording? Did y'all see the recording? <laughs> Alright, cool. What up, what up, what up? You are listening to Dallas Parlay. We have a trillion fans out there, I know. And especially after this week, we're going to be talking big on the Cowboys. They did an amazing job. Uh, just kidding. So, anyways, I'm here. My name's Brandon. I'm your host for the Dallas Parlay. I also have Chaz, the whole crew with me. Chaz is with me. How's it going? Freedom Boys. <laughs> And <laughs> next to him on my screen is Ryan. Yeah, I listened last week, boys. Don't you worry. Not getting replaced by some 13-year-old, okay? I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see about that. <laughs> this is your audition. Uh, anyways, yeah, great great game. Dallas Cowboys did horrific. Uh, 47-9 and against the Detroit Lions, who look pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I know we're not very good, but they looked really good. So uh, just right off the bat. We uh, can't wait to talk about him. Ryan, in particular, he's I'm usually the negative one for the whole game. Luckily, I fell asleep, so I uh, couldn't be negative the entire game. But Ryan is happy to be the negative one today. So, have hey, I'm not negative, man. I wanted I, I wanted to address the elephant in the room. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be positive here. Nine points, dude. Nine points. Mm-hmm. Over. Over three games, the Dallas Stars have scored nine points, and they're off to a 3-0 and record. So, yeah, man, nine points <laughs> against uh, uh, four points from the other two. We got two uh, two shutouts from uh, DeSmith and, and Ottinger. So, hey, I- I'm happy with nine points, baby. We're uh, we're undefeated right now, baby. Let's go. I think – no, it's that's a different team, Ryan. We're talking about oh, the what? Cowboys. They also, had, they also had nine points, though. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, I don't want to talk about yeah. them. Yeah, about our, our with our best player. Nine points from our best player, actually. Hey, undefeated. I mean, yesterday. I think it did solidify that he is uh, Aubrey is definitely our best player <laughs> on the whole team, and, <laughs> and it's undoubtable. That's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> so, where do y'all want to start with this this great great game? We actually watched it together uh, for once in the past, like two years we're very busy i don't know but uh we like we always chat about it but watching it together is a is a rare occasion and boy were we so glad we get to watch this one together so we had some good food though right i that's what i was about to say at least at least it was a decent i mean it was kind of hot but the day was okay the drinks were good the food was good fajitas tablitas uh queso i mean we had it going man and then we just uh fall straight into a deep depression watching the cowboys like Mm -hmm. it just feels like every sunday it's like i mean it's a bad game all around i mean everybody it's going to be obvious that they're going to go after dak he had a bad game again uh he had a bad game last week i mean honestly he he had the game winning drive which basically gave him the pass, I guess, for it playing bad, but it was just another terrible, horrific showing. Uh, him and CD looks like they're back, uh, not on the same page again. I don't know if they're beefing. It just they don't look like they're wanting. They're just not happy. I mean, I get it. It's embarrassing, but you got to do something to figure it out. Yeah, I don't know what it is. The most depressing thing about it, though, is that they seem to – it's like they were like, hey, <laughs> look at us. We got a running game maybe out of uh, out of Dowdle last week. And then this week they, they get freaking Zeke eight carries, you know. It's like I, I don't know what their plan is. I don't. It, it really did feel like in the media that it was heard that, that Zeke was, you know, disgruntled and unhappy and dumbfounded, I think is the word he used about – not getting in as many carries in the in the Steelers game, and then they come out and give it to him, and it's like they, I feel like they just did that to make him happy. And then what do we have to show for it? Absolutely freaking nothing. So, um, yeah, man. I mean, between Aubrey and and honestly Turpentine, dude, our special teams is the best unit on our football team. Um, oh, mm-hmm. you know, yes. it's, to to their credit, Detroit does have the best offensive line in the league. Um, they're coached in just kind of a different way than 
most other teams. We knew that they were going to be out coaching us the whole game. Um, and with our defensive injuries, we knew that it was going to be a struggle against that offensive line in Detroit. But, man, it was um, it was an uphill battle, to say the least, from, from the very jump. Definitely. Yeah, I called it in the beginning. I mean, I didn't say how strong I was. Like, we were going to get – well, I think I might have said we were going to get killed. Uh, but, you know, we have wins against crappy teams. They have wins against decent teams. And uh, that showed um, – going to Dak, like he just <clears throat> he's seeing things like they commented on it multiple times uh especially tom brady you gotta listen to him right so uh he's seeing things late like and i think ryan or i think both of y'all at one point but i know ryan in particular was like what like he was open and now he's not like you threw it when he's not great job um but like if it changes, I already said it too uh, uh, last week. Like that, we needed to come out with touchdowns, not just three points. So, I think we're gonna lose regardless. But if we at least come out with two touchdowns instead of a turnover and three points, that maybe it could be a little different. It's just they they look terrible, and Dak looks so far behind. He's Mister Study Guy, but it doesn't look like it. It looked promising too. That first that first drive looked promising. Like it almost of course we have just we have such bad red zone. I don't know what's going on, man. We just cannot get it done in the red zone. And like you said, I think a lot of it is I mean, Dak he has he like he has the open man and he's just he's just a, a two steps behind. I mean, and he, and sometimes he's forcing it and it just doesn't look like, I mean, I don't know what the deal is, man. Yeah, I mean, the red zone is an issue. To get all the way down the field and, and throw an interception in the red zone um, every week. is bad. Every week. All of Dak's <laughs> – I, I feel like all of Dak's interceptions have been, have been terrible, though. You know, it's not – he used to get the benefit of the doubt of these random, like, tipped balls or just shit that wasn't his fault, but – and it seems like he's just not seeing the field and throwing stuff extremely late. Um, I don't know, man. It's tough, though. Tough to watch right now. Agreed. And then our defense on top of that. What do you all think about the defense? I mean, so you, it obviously looks terrible, 47 points. But really, to be honest, the defense kept them to seven points in the first quarter. And – we couldn't capitalize on their having, you know, maybe a little slow start. It just, they did what they could for as long as they could. And then the floodgates opened 20 points in the second quarter. And then you're going into the, you know, going into halftime 27, six, and it's pretty much over at that point. I mean, you can, you, it felt like it. I mean, and having everybody (laughs) cheering, let's go lions in the stands uh, also is annoying. It's just like, it doesn't even feel like a home advantage. We've we've lost three, all three games at home, and it it doesn't feel like we even want to be there, fans included. So I mean, the lion. It was a good Lions team, honestly. I mean, they're 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 coming back to back forty point games. In their last game they beat Seattle 42-29. So they're playing good. They're they're. I mean, whoever's going to beat them is either going to have to stop them or keep up with them, and we couldn't do either at all. So. It, it's no surprise that we just got ran up on, but I didn't think they were going to come in and give us the biggest home loss we've had in Jerry World since inception. I mean, I, I didn't think it was going to be that day, but here we are. Yep. I mean, this is the kind of thing that we, you know, that that gets Jerry to, you know, make changes or at least start talking about it, thinking about it, getting embarrassed in your home like that. How many three games in a row have now? To be embarrassed. I mean. So if you're if you're a fan of, of change and you want McCarthy out or I mean obviously nothing's gonna happen with Dak, I think really the only feasible change that could happen right now is gonna be McCarthy to go. So if that's what you want, Cowboys fans out there, then I would say you're definitely one step closer. Especially the way the Washington's playing right now. Um, I mean luckily the Giants are still the Giants, but we're we're Really, really close to me and last in the division, which I honestly don't even remember the last time we were last in the division at any point of any season um, in years past. So being third and creeping 
to fourth in the division. Um, I, I think I think you're probably getting close to seeing McCarthy's yeah, last days. I agree. And it's I mean I've never been a McCarthy fan, but uh, stinks for him because this is like uh, he's always out coached. We talk about it every year, but he's definitely always out coached. But I mean this year it just doesn't even seem like seems like we're I don't know about you guys, but leaning more to this is uh, general manager's fault here. Like we don't have the right pieces. We thought we have this amazing defense with uh, Parsons there. And, I mean, they look exactly the same with him not there, like, at this point. So, this could be – the thing that stinks is you just paid Dak. So, I mean, you, you can't even revamp. You're you're paying, a, you know, a lot of money to two offensive players that are stuck for the yeah. next four-ish years, give or take. Probably a little more, I think, but – I, th- I think the defense is going to – I mean, it, it'll make a difference having Parsons and Tank back, and I don't know what the second half of the season is going to have. We're going to have a tough game to come out of the bye week on playing the Niners. The problem with the defense right now is it, it just – it doesn't even seem like we can tackle. There's so many missed tackles, and if if we can't hold them to uh, – we just got – they didn't punt. They didn't punt the whole game, did they? No. Not a single punt. Not a single fourth fourth down. I mean, it's like maybe there was a fourth down and they and they went for it and they got it. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. But you're right, Brandon. I mean, it's I almost like just want this team to do bad the rest of the season. I know. So we could but one pick, could get one first round pick. I mean, picks, I just don't. It's really, not going to even help. We're gonna we're gonna lose out or not lose out, but you know, be at the bottom five, bottom ten uh, in the NFL and we get one pick and that's going to be great, but I just don't, that's not the, you still have to do other things other than draft. You can't draft a awesome offensive lineman and expect everything to be better. It's not going to be, it's going to be great. Maybe. Oh, now we get an extra two yards of running and it. That's if we have a decent running back, but it's not going to save it by just drafting. He's you're going to have to spend the money elsewhere other than internal. Like that hasn't worked. Every year we sign our internal guys and think it's going to be okay because we're so high on them. Every, spring training, we're like, oh, you know, Parsons did great. Oh, look at Zeke. He looks, he looks, whatever. Like we didn't say that about Zeke. I'm just giving examples. Like we always think these guys look so good in training camp and they come out and they're just stagnant. Like, and that's what we are, the Dallas Cowboys, stagnant, eight and eight, uh, maybe a little better in the regular season. We just we we're not there. You got to change something, man. Like. Oh, and we don't even have the money to rebuild. I mean, we like you said, we gave Dak all that money. We paid Z, uh, Lamb. And we don't even have the money to rebuild. I mean, we, even if we wanted to. So all we can do really is draft and pick up people that are washed, that are past their prime, and hope that we catch lightning in a bottle. And we haven't even seen yeah. what our running back can do that we picked up. That I mean, at this point, it's like, do we even want to? Do we even care? Like, if – we're just trying to lose out. I mean, I don't know what I don't know. I know Jerry doesn't want to lose out, and I know he's not trying um, to just have a pitiful team out there every week. But I mean, it's just, dude, it's hard to watch. It, it's embarrassing. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, though, it's a culture thing. I don't think anything is going to change as long as the Cowboys are America's team. It's the, it's in my opinion, it's the number one thing that holds the Cowboys back <laughs> is being called America's team. Teams hate us. We have whiny fans, whatever. Um, but everybody shows up against the Cowboys, man. It doesn't It doesn't matter how good or bad we play. I feel like we almost always get every other team's best version of themselves um, just because mm-hmm. of the brand, the spotlight, um, you know, whatever. So I, I don't know how you fix that. If it is just Jerry, um, you know, do we – do we could we possibly even get to a point where other teams look at us like the Browns, where it's like we've been through, you know, the the, the tough times, and it's about time we start winning again? I don't think so. Um, I, I think I, I genuinely think that it has to do with Jerry, not even so much what he's doing, like as far as team building and management, um, but the marketing in the hype. It's just it's too much. It takes away from um, 
from players and building their own reputation. When you come to the Cowboys, you're, you have a platform immediately. Um, so players don't come here and have to make a name for themselves. The name's already made for them with the star on their helmet. Um, so culturally, I think it, it is, is the biggest hurdle that this team has to overcome, and it's not going to happen anytime soon. Totally. Totally. <laughs> we sound like a beat up. <laughs> we sound so beat up. Dude, I'm, I'm worn out. Like, it's even it's it's a day after, and I'm still like, I mean, I love doing these podcasts, and I love talking about, you know, just getting together. And But this week just didn't seem like that there was a whole lot I, I even wanted to go over. I mean, it was just it was just depressing from the beginning to the end. And I, I, maybe it's a good time for a bye week to, to be here. I mean, we do need to get healthy if we are going to try to be competitive. And one thing I don't want is to come out of the bye week and play the Niners out of all teams. We have to play the Niners. And I swear to God, if we get double tripled up like we did this game, I'm just like, all right, I'll, I'm going to watch the game the next day. It's a lose lose. It's a lose lose situation, though, man, because obviously you come out of the bye week and you get a win against the 49ers. Bang. Obviously, that's, that's a win. But to Jerry, that's going to be Jerry's Super Bowl. He's going to be riding off of that the whole rest of the season. It doesn't matter how we do the rest of the season. And then if we lose, obviously it's a loss, expected or not. It just drops us further down the division and morale and everything else. So I don't think even winning there's anything good that could really come out of even beating the 49ers. Yeah. Yeah. We beat them handedly and we look better against a good team. And that's I keep going to that too. Like, let's get a win against a solid team. Then maybe we can have hope. We'll be we'll be a little more energetic. Be like, okay, we turned a corner. They figured it out. You know, maybe our scheme needed to change. Whatever the case may be. But I agree. If we just win barely by luck, uh, uh-uh, it's not going to cut it. We're we're going to feel exact. I'm going to feel exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just. So we're three and three right now. Let's just go down the rest of the the rest of the schedule and see. Yeah. What, what do you guys think we're going to be? Going into the playoffs, if we're going to even think we're going to make the playoffs, so we got we're coming off the bye, we have to go to San Fran and play the Niners. Loss. Um, I mean, loss. we is that a dub or no? Loss. Yeah, it's a loss. Three and four. Okay, three and four. Now we're going to Atlanta. Got to play the Falcons. Four and two. Atlanta right now is what four and two. They're playing okay, you know. So. Do we beat Atlanta at home? I mean, do we split one of these games? Are we at home Can there? We say maybe we split this game. No, we have to go to Atlanta. Yeah, we're at, at Atlanta. So I'm saying loss again, man. I still have faith. I don't, right I don't know who you could, who you could even confidently say we could be. We took the Giants down to the wire. So okay. I don't know, man. So loss. <laughs> so, uh, so okay. Keep- Kick so, on. We're gonna have a lot right, of losses. So here. then we come back home. We play the Texans, and no, we play the, we play think... the Eagles after that. Oh Eagles. my God! Yeah, we have. Oh well, they're both okay. So you're right. So we play the Eagles. Eagles a loss. We'll, we can just skip that one. Eagles yeah. a loss. Okay. So, and the Texans right now after the Eagles are five and one right now. So one, two, three, yeah, four. Yeah, lost there. So actually, I'm gonna go back. Maybe we can beat the Eagles. Like they they didn't look great this week either. I mean, they look better than we do as a whole. But, you know, what's a uh, quarterback there always makes a few mistakes here and there. So maybe you could just put a, a question mark on that one. Like, Hertz can make some dumb things go ha- go our way. Okay. Maybe we get a win at home. Our first Assuming home Assuming we don't lose five games in a row, we have to win one of the next four, right? So let's just say we win one of the next four. And then we have to go to Washington, play the Commanders. And, you know, inter, inter division games, that's a toss up. So maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe we Hopefully. show up and, and take care of the commanders. We can't block, we can't stop their that's run. A damn, we, like, we have a running quarterback. It's a Dan Quinn reunion game, man. They're going to be hyped up, man. They're, <laughs> yeah. We'll see us winning that game. Dude, it's so depressing. Okay, so the Giants then. <laughs> <laughs> when? The Giants after the commanders. We get, we get the dub right there, right? Uh, yeah, I think I, yeah, I feel I more so. confident that we go to Atlanta and get the win, come back home, lose to the Eagles, and that Giants game um, right after Thanksgiving. I think that's our first home win of the season. Maybe our only home win. Okay. okay. 
Okay. Well, then we're at home against the Bengals. They're struggling after the Giants. Yeah, they barely beat <laughs> True. True. the Raiders. Oh, the Giants. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just say Bengals, Panthers, Bucks, Eagles. So that's the last four games. Three. And then Washington. So that's maybe three, four wins with Panthers, maybe. Bucks we lose, Eagles we, we may lose again, the Eagles. Washington we, we may the lose. Eagles. So four more wins. <laughs> I, I, I think could we could fun. probably. I do think we could probably get the very last game of the season at home against Washington, just because they're probably going to have the division. Uh, I think. Um, so yeah, they may be resting players. Yeah. So going back to what you said, eight and eight or eight and nine or whatever seven, we are, eight. <laughs> seven and ten. That's really what we're looking at, honestly, and it. I ho- and then we don't get in the playoffs, dude. Like, if that's the case, it doesn't – like, we get lucky every once in a while getting these 8-8 eight and eight, – well, back in the day, 8-8, eight and eight, and still getting into the playoffs. I don't think that happens no. this year. This like, division is too good. You can't have an 8-9 yeah. record. Yeah. Yeah. And then what well, we – Great stuff. We fire a head coach, and uh, we try to pick up some more scrubs and try again next year. Yeah, but what – man, they don't even pick up scrubs when we – like, we needed this year to pick up some people. And we picked up Dalvin Cook, who we are not going to play the rest of the year. Like, right? right. I can't think of anybody that's uh, an impact player that we got. Maybe one of the linebacker impact – was it – did we get a linebacker this Kendricks. offseason? Yeah, yeah Kendricks. He's that's, been playing good. That's playing right now. But is it – Yeah, but he was with us already, right? Uh, I thought we picked him up. No, I thought we picked him up. This, pick yeah, up. Him. yeah, you're right. I think, yeah. But I think it's a little bit of salt in the wound, too, watching Derek Henry having, like, an all-star game. I mean, all-star season so far. When And he's always wanted to come we here. We needed running so <laughs> bad, and we just felt like we were didn't have to do anything. I mean, regardless if you think we could have afforded him or not when it happened. like At the time, we could have because we didn't sign anybody yet. But I don't know. I'm over it, dude. I'm over it. Let's go on. Let's, I'm playing golf next Sunday, so I'm not even not even worried about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Balling. Uh, I'm going to sneak back to Dak because I saw a uh, press conference maybe. I didn't say the whole thing. Obviously, I, I dabbled into it, but I heard them ask him. I don't even know what the question was, but his, his comment back was he's not going to hit. He's not, he's not the type of person to hit the panic button, um, something like that. And it's like, dude, I heard that, and I, I even I got even more frustrated. Like, I love that Dak is composed. He's a great vocal leader. Um, we need him to step up. If you're that vocal leader, I want to hear it a little, like a little bit. I get it. You're a robot. You have the Jason Garrett form of talking to the to the media, but I want to hear a little frustration in you, man. Like, not hitting the panic button. It's time to hit the panic button. I don't know if you know this, but. You're not scoring, having turnovers in the red zone. Uh, to me, that's that's completely fake, dude. You should be, you should be hitting that panic button and let us know that you're hitting the panic button because we're all fans are hitting the panic button. I don't know if you know this, but <laughs> you don't look great. Your offense doesn't look great. Like CD is hitting the panic button. I mean, y'all can make an excuse about CD not, you know, talking to you badly but we see dude see look at his face he's saying throw it up because he's frustrated with you not because he is letting you know hey man next time just throw it up no he's like throw it up idiot like you should know this granted he did throw it up this time and he didn't complete the pass but you know my point is they're all they're getting frustrated like this vocal leader this this great guy he is a great guy but we need to see this on the field. He's just not playing. Not, not playing the way he should and not playing the way he can. And I don't know what it is. Ever since the contract, man, it's just been like and, – and you say he's a vocal leader, but every time he goes to the bench, he's just sitting by himself and he's looking at the tablet and he's not talking to anybody and he's just thinking he's trying to figure it out. But is he really? I mean, I don't I don't know. It's like uh, – I don't know. <laughs> oh. Good stuff. Good stuff. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not good stuff at all. I'm super excited about these Dallas Mavericks, man. Uh- <laughs> right? Hey, you can't watch the Mavericks game on NBA TV tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Good. So they, are, they are telecasting. And like Ryan good. said earlier, the Stars are undefeated. 
I mean, they've they've won their first three games, four games at home uh, of the season. Three games, three games, two shutouts yeah. in that time too. So there is okay. some. We do have a bye week. Yeah, we have to do some homework this week and and talk about the stars for for a day. Yeah, and <laughs> it'd be a better conversation, I tell you that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, actually, surprisingly, we talked about this beforehand. We we didn't think we'd make it to thirty minutes, but I mean, we went twenty six minutes so far. So. We did a lot of good complaining in 30 minutes. <laughs> a lot of complaining, yeah. A lot of I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, it's like you can't you can't watch the game that we watched and try to talk about it and have anything positive to say other than our kicker Aubrey is the best kicker in the league. And I'm sorry that he has to play for us. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe <laughs> maybe it's actually good. He's going to get paid. Because, yeah, he's he's getting plenty of field goals and a lot of looks. So, he's he's that's another fat contract we're going to have to have under our belt here pretty soon. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. All in. <laughs> all right, well. <laughs> I'm all in. I'm all in on Mavs Stars, baby. Yeah, there you go. Can't wait to see Clay Thompson. I saw a couple highlights. He looks he looks ready to go, man. I'm excited. Like I'm excited for the office to open up like a little bit, you know, set some picks. I, I already saw it. I, granted, Luke is not in right now, but I saw a few screens for him coming off screens, and he, he's hitting. I think he was like three for five, so of three point three pointers. That is so, dude. I'm excited about uh, seeing. Me that. too. I actually just got tickets for my first game. I haven't been to a Mavs game, and I, I don't even know how long. And I just got tickets, so me and Hunter are going to go in January. Nice. Pretty stoked. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, the game yep. is at nine thirty tonight, so uh, if you guys stay up. <laughs> oh hell, we're old. All right. Well, that'll do it for this week. We'll come back. Maybe we can talk some stars next week. I'm gonna have to do my homework, or I may just leave it to you guys, and I'll just chime in in the background. But uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll hire you next week. I'm Brandon. We got next to us. We got Chaz and Ryan, the whole crew again. Yes, we're back. Take it easy. Peace.